Look how beautiful George is. Got him. All right, so this video went from uh, me pretty much redoing a few fish tanks to get ready for the move into that right there. Look at this. What is going on, Crows? Welcome back to another video here. Today is uh, it's pretty interesting. We got the new house coming in two days, and I've got to get a lot done within those two days. Bottom line is, Davis don't show weather because it's already done. I'm filming this intro after what we've done. First things first is we need to get George out of that aquarium right there and get him into the 100 gallon bin in the backyard. What I did was siphon the water from the tank into a bucket, just enough to where I could put those fish in there. And then siphon water out of the tub and put that into the bucket, which then will acclimate them into that tub out there for the time being. They're gonna be in there for like three days. To be honest, I don't know what I filmed today. I kind of just filmed a bunch of stuff going on. I was so busy doing the things that I didn't even have the camera, nor our cameraman, Davis behind the camera right now. So I just filmed whatever I got. So I'm just gonna roll whatever I did today, right now. Hopefully it makes sense. Enjoy. Look how beautiful George is. Look at that fish right there. Incredible. Let's get Mr. Beicher in there. There we go. Now that we have both of our fish, all this is a five gallon bucket, so it's not too big. It's only to acclimate. So what we're doing is bringing these fish, just like this. I have had this bait tank right here running for months now, and also just put a heater in there last night because I knew I would do this today. So that water is probably about 78 degrees, which is good enough and it's going to get hotter. The plan is, what I'm doing right now actually, I just have a cardboard covering it because bichers like to jump. But as you can tell right here, it's a slow acclimation. So that's what I'm doing for these guys. I'm gonna cover them up. I'm gonna acclimate them into this 100 gallon bin over here. This is pretty much like a 100 gallon fish tank. You just can't see through the side. That's exactly what that is. It's a tub of 100 gallons. I've probably got it filled up about 90 gallons. So these fish right here will only be in here for three days. As you can see, now this tank is empty. What is going in there is these guys right here. Not all these guys are going in there, but for now, about half of them, because that's obviously a smaller tank, are going into there. The rest of these fish I do have a home for, and it's my friend's house, and I'll show later on, maybe three days from now, once we have to move this tank, I'll show me putting those into his tank. But this tank is just not big enough to have all of those cichlids in it, so the plan is to kind of just split them in half. Because if you didn't know when I get the new house, all those fish in this tank, since everything's gotta come either way, I'm just switching it up a bit. The 90 gallon fish are going to be in the 160, meaning I can get some more fish for that. I can get different schools of tetras and other things you'll see in the future, of course. And then the cichlids, which were requested from my mom to stay here, are staying in that tank right there. Then George, which is in the tub, George and the Beicher are going into here. So you get me? George and Beicher are gonna be in there. These guys are gonna be in the 160, and the 160 fish are gonna be in there. They're moving, so no matter what, I'm gonna have to take them out of the tank, so I'm just swapping things up a bit. My mom wanted the cichlids, so I'm gonna grant her wish, and of course, give her the cichlids. Look how big the iridescent catfish are getting. All these fish are just getting big. Clown loaches are definitely gonna grow still, so they need something bigger, and that's why I'm gonna put them all in there. And that tank right there, the 160, is going in a sick place, so I'm not gonna mention anything on where that tank's going. But I promise you, just wait, that is gonna be so dope. I've got a whole plan in my head, and it's very difficult to explain on camera, but I'm trying to do my best. What I gotta do now is get all these rocks, or at least a lot of them, out and onto this carpet so that I could put them into here and uh, get some of these cichlids into here. Now I believe I got enough rocks out at least to start maybe putting some rocks in there. Now trust me, as weird as this process might seem to a lot of the viewers right now, a lot of y'all watching, um, it's probably like, what in the heck is he doing? I wanna make it clear, so the cichlids are going into this tank staying at this house because my mom wanted them. Now these fish right here in the 90 gallon are going into there at the new house. For now it's gonna be empty and they're just staying in there. George is in the tub out there with the Beicher 100 gallon tub for three days. Then we'll be put into this tank once those fish go into that tank at the new house. Hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't, I don't know. But without further ado, we're just gonna keep on working out here. This is gonna be a really fun video because we've got a lot, a lot of work to do. Alrighty, it has been a while. As you can see, the water has just slowly been overflowing. I really wanted to let these things acclimate into this 100 gallon tub here. I even had an aerator going for them. And now, what I gotta do, get my hand all moist, right? Reach down in there and pick up my buddy George to put him into his new home just for these three days. Look at him. There he goes, buddy. You got a 100 gallon tank, and now the Beicher, of course, as well. It's like a little slippery snake, so I'm just gonna kinda wing him in there. Here we go. One, two, so slippery. One, oh, there we go. Oh, 
Told you I had to like wing them in there. There's our Beicher down there, and there's George. As you can tell, water's clear. 100 gallons, plenty big. We're gonna let them chill. We got our fish set. Those fish are now ready to go into the 90 gallon once we get the house. Okay, Davis is back behind the camera mm -hmm. here. We have this tank completely done. As you can tell, didn't look like this this morning. Took all day to finally get it right. I just built up the back wall there, made everything very steady. I even got a plant coming out of here, two aerations in the corners here, and the filter, of course, running through there. I even stuck this thing on, which was pretty cool. It's so satisfying just peeling that right off. But uh, paulcarrotbrand.com, top link in the description, get yourself some merch. That right there is now on the tank, and the tank looks perfectly good, and it's ready for at least half of these fish. Right now I have all the filters off, by the way, and the water is low. Just make it easier for me to catch these things. We're just gonna chum them up like this. This is the easiest way to get as many as we can. All right? Okay, so we got them kind of chummed up, right? Got them. Got a very good amount of them, very good amount of them. Just like that. Now these temperatures are about the same. I even put the little thermometer in there and we're mighty fine. Uh, putting that many fish in that tank looks like we are, we are on the money with fish wise. I think that is a good amount. I'm gonna leave the rest in here and like I said, I'm going, there's probably, there's way more in here still. I'm gonna turn these pumps back on and leave the rest of these in here until we move out. I might even put them outside somewhere because I do have that little pool pond. I also have a few other places that I could put these guys for now. Bottom line is I need to get everything ready for the house. We signed in two days and we need to be ready. This is this is where everything's going. Everything's going over to the new house. And uh, these guys are gonna be amazing, especially with the white sand, that's a lighter tank, so it's gonna be cool. So this is done. I'm actually gonna go back outside. It's dark out now, but I wanna give you an update on how George and the Bicer are doing out in that tub out there. How's the turtle doing? This is the albino red ear slider down there. They were actually all just on this until I walked out here. Check out the pond. Looking good. All right, now over to the tub, which is over here. I'll show you guys. There's the Bicer down there, and there is George. Right back there, chilling. It's nighttime, so he's gonna sit low and sleep pretty much. The heater is on, and as Davis, touch the water real quick. Is it warm? Yeah. yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah, it's pretty warm yeah. actually. So we got a heater in there, so it's staying warm for the flower horn and the bicher. Is it on? It's not Oh gosh. <laughs> All right. Well, the big pond's not flowing right now. As you say, the fish are of falling. Course. I have another problem on my hands right now, and that is to get this water flowing again. Sometimes it just like breaks off. So let me see if I can fix it. It's not good. It's not a good thing. But at the same time, it is a good thing. No, it's not a good thing at all. Dude, this sucks. All right, so last time this happened, rock will fall through the skimmer because it's my fault, personally. My God, bro. <laughs> all right, so this video went from uh, me pretty much redoing a few fish tanks to get ready for the move into that right there. Look at this thing. God. So this is the Iogen Systems Rope. Oh, it's a strap. Yep, usually would hold, this would usually hold, oh my God, it's overflowing everywhere, the water. This would usually hold the light right here for the iogen system. The iogen system keeps the string algae down. But clearly, she's in there good. It's stuck in there good. Oh, and these pumps are unbelievably strong because even after a rock was stuck in it one time, another time, for instance, this right here, ha! Huh, you know what I think about you? Jeez. Yeah, get, leave. Cool, good stuff. All right, now we gotta put this back in. It's flooding everywhere. Oh yeah, because the the tubing underground right here is yeah. now all pushing back, so. Uh, yeah. Oh, not this again. Remember how hard it was to get on? Yeah. Uh, don't you just love it? All right, everything switched it back on. Let's see if this whole video could switch back to what we were initially gonna film. Yeah. It? Please. Oh. Look at all this algae, dude. I just power washed this pond. Algae just grows so fast. Oh, oh that's spider. I'm out. And there it is. Okay. Well, we did it. There it is. The tank. Look at the frontosa. So dope. You could see so much more in this tank right here. That is actually all I've got for you today, though. I'm about to head over to Camp Kennens and check out the Rec Pond Build. There's over 60 pond contractors, people that literally build ponds for a living, building his Rec Pond right now. 30 by 60 pond, which is absolutely huge. And by the way, we're doing one at the new house, so just 
Be ready. All I'm saying is hit that subscribe button right down there below. Hit it after doing that. Turn your post notifications on because you don't want to miss out on all the stuff to come. A question that I get an unbelievable amount of times every day is what am I going to do with this pond, this pond, and the big pond over there when, oh, oh, look at George. Took off. He's at the surface right when I walked up. Anyway, they're doing good. All these ponds that are in the ground are staying. My parents don't mind taking care of those little amount of fish. And it's not that I'm not going to be here anymore. I'm still going to be at this house a lot. Taking care of these fish and coming back and taking care of the cichlid tank that we left. I'll always be here doing stuff. Today's positive comment shout out goes out to Cole Carr. I love watching your videos. Very much inspiring to 